All right, thanks for watching. And today I'm gonna define what a sequence is. And intuitively speaking, all that it is, is just an infinite list of real numbers. So here's our intuitive definition, which we'll make rigorous at the end. So intuitive definition, so a sequence, Sn, where let's say n is in n, is just an infinite list of real numbers. Of real numbers. And today I'm just going to go through a couple of examples of sequences. So for instance, consider the following sequence, Sn to be 1 over n squared, where n is in n. Then the sequence Sn, it's simply 1 over 1 squared, which is 1, 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth, 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 ninth, etc., etc. And just a little distinction that is pretty important. So when I write Sn without parentheses, I just mean the term of the sequence. So the nth number in the sequence. But when I write Sn with parentheses, I mean uh, the whole sequence. So the whole list of numbers. So that is one example. The next one is also very important because it's a good source of counterexamples. That is when you want to show a statement is false. And that's the sequence minus 1 to the n. Example 2, Sn is minus 1 to the n. And here, n is greater or equal to 0. So the one thing to understand in sequences, we kind of have some leeway or we can be a bit more chill about this because we can say here, well, n starts with one, but sometimes we can also say n starts with zero. Doesn't matter. And in that case, the sequence Sn is just minus one to the zero, which is one, minus one to the one, which is minus one, one, minus one, one, minus one, et cetera, et cetera. So in other words, it just jumps back and forth between 1 and minus 1. That's an important example of a sequence that doesn't converge, which we'll talk about in the next video. Okay, and related to this is the no another interesting example, which I like as well. Consider the following thing. Sn to be cosine of pi n over 2. So close to pi m over 2, but here uh, with an n if you want. So, and here we say n is just, again, greater or equal to 0. By the way, I went to the Cheesecake Factory and I said my name is pi m and they wrote it as Pam. How are they, the two similar? I don't understand. What are the terms of the sequence? So in this term, uh, in this example, we have, well, the first term is cosine of pi 0 over 2, which is just 1. The second term is cosine of pi over 2, which is 0. Then cosine of pi 2 over 2, which is cosine of pi, which is minus 1. Then cosine of 3 pi over 2, which is 0 and then cosine of 4 pi over 2, which is cosine of 2 pi over 2, uh, which is cosine of 2 pi, which is 1. So 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, etc., etc. And in this case, the sequence jumps back and forth between three values. And in fact, let me illustrate this with the trig circle so you can really see why this is true. Because remember, what is cosine? It's the x-coordinate of a point on the unit circle. So here, you're starting with the angle 0, so the x-coordinate is 1. Then you go to the angle pi over 2, so the x-coordinate is 0. 
and then at pi, the x coordinate is minus one, and then three pi over two, it becomes zero again, and then two pi, which is one. So one, zero, minus one, zero, one, zero, minus one, zero, da, 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 da. <laughs> How neat is that? And then also another interesting sequence I want to mention is the following. So Sn, it's minus one to the n over, let's say, uh, n. Let's say n is, uh, yeah, of course, uh, greater or equal to 1. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. And what this does, it's like 1 over n, but it jumps back and forth because of minus 1 to the n part. So what it looks like, it's minus 1, and then I think a 1 half, and then minus 1 third, 1 fourth, etc., etc. What's nice about this, it seems to go to zero, and in fact it does, you can show this. And in fact, that'll be the point of the next series of videos to show how a sequence can converge. And last but not least, I do wanna mention this. This is my favorite sequence called Sia sequence. And why is that? called like that because Sn is just 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, ah, uh, anyway, it's the chandelier song, essentially. Last but not least, what is actually the definition of a sequence? Notice for every natural number, you're associating a real number. So the actual definition is simply, it's a function from the natural numbers to the real numbers. So really the actual definition is a sequence Sn, where n is in n, is just a function f from the natural numbers to the real numbers. Why? I mean, consider, for instance, the sequence Sn to be 1 over n squared. That's the same thing, really, as the function as Fn equals 1 over n squared. I mean, for instance, how would you get the first term of the sequence? Well, you do f of 1, which is 1 over 1 squared, which is 1. f of 2, which is uh, 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. f of 3, it's 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 nine, etc., etc. So th this is what you mean really by s1, s2, s3 even though you usually don't think about it that way. All right, thank you very much.